Good morning or afternoon. Today we're looking at number 34, bile vim cabbage down. The word bile is a phonetic spelling of somebody with a really heavy accent saying boil. So the actual title of this tune is boil vim cabbage down. This is, as your book says, an American folk song. The original words to this song were boil vim cabbage down, bake them hoe cakes brown, the only song that I can sing is Bile Them Cabbage Down. In some newer versions of this song, you'll find the food in this song replaced with biscuits. The combination of foods that are referenced in this song kind of speak to the economic disadvantages of the people who developed this song. Obviously, we know what cabbage is, and it's a pretty cheap food, but delicious. Hoe cakes are a type of bread that's made with a combination of cornmeal, salt, and water. So the reason they're called hoe cakes instead of some other type of thing that sounds a little less funny is that they would actually take them, form them, and then bake them over an open fire on the blade of a hoe that they would use to work the land. So they're essentially kind of little forms of cornbread, but with less ingredients. You can still find recipes for them today, but most of the recipes aren't super authentic because they've got things like buttermilk and then baking powder and all kinds of other things, which pretty much make them into cornbread. Looking at the song, the first thing you should notice is always the key signature. So some of you have two flats, some of you have no flats, some of you have one flat, some of you have one sharp, but it should be the same key signature as concert B flat. The other thing is Allegro. Allegro means 120 beats per minute, or fast. If you need this breath right here in the middle, then take it. If we're playing at a tempo that you don't need it, you of course don't need to take it. For the percussion part, it is quite different. So if you're playing the bass drum part here, make sure you're counting. And for the snare drum part, it's pretty repetitive. Just make sure you're bringing out these accents. You're gonna bring out accents by starting the accented note with your stick up a little higher in the air than you normally would bring it. So good luck with this tune and have fun.